Today, I'm gonna do some headlights on the 2002. I had planned to do some LEDs on the car, but they are hideously expensive. And uh, I was going through Lucas's stuff and happened to find a pair of Hella headlights. So I'm going to go through that box and see what's in there and see if we can get them to fit in the car and hopefully at the end of this video I will have two working headlights and maybe work on the grill a little bit. You can see the front uh, grill has had some work in the past, it's kind of held on by wires so we'll see if we can fix that up. Alright, so this is what I found, a couple of boxes here and I think they're a conversion kit for this car. I know that Lucas had some big plans for this and it looks like we're going to be able to see some of his vision through. So I've got some nice hella glass cases here. That's good. A new backing for them, which is also good. Uh, looks like the kit comes with an H4 bulb. Great. Some instructions. Amazing. So what I'm going to do is get the rest of this grill off and then we'll install the lights. Got some wire on here. I don't think that's the proper way to do this, but there's one extra piece out. Looks like on this side we got a zip tie holding it up. So we'll snip that, see if we can come up with some better solutions holding this on. Go. And this grill's in pretty good shape. There's another set in the back that has the reflector that goes here. So I'm hoping between all of the grills that I have, we can put them together and uh, figure out how this is supposed to look couple of fins missing here. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like that or if it's supposed to be covered by these black covers. We'll figure that out later. There's just a whole mismatch of different fasteners in this car. So I'm having to constantly get different screwdrivers and screws. There you go. That wasn't sitting in there very well. Be careful. So this light worked, is the other side that was burnt out, but since I found these lights, and I wanted to kind of see the look of the car anyway, let's see if we can switch them all out. There's that. What we'll do is see if this fits up in the location. There's these stands on the back. I don't know if those are going to get in the way. The stock lights don't quite have that. I'm not sure if it can stand off or not. We'll give it a shot before I go and jam it in with the light bulb. Mm, looks like it's going to work and looks like it's going to be really nice. I think that is going to be a sharp looking headlight set. So I'm going to assemble the lights and we will install them into the car. See if they power up and then I'll start working on the grill. All right. Without the light, it's looking pretty sharp. I'm going to open this off the back here. So we'll put it on the top so I don't scratch it up. It came with a little H4 bulb. It should, I'm assuming since it came with the kit, drop right in here. No problem. Lock up the little clasp. Okay, we got a pretty sharp looking light there. And it looks like it's going to plug right in. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to do this sitting down. Probably going to be a little bit finicky. Um, grab the wiring harness. I don't know if that's going to fit. Hmm. Hmm. 
Oh, it looks like this one broke off. So uh, that's probably why part of that wasn't working. You look at the back of the headlight, one of the pins is off. So I'll just pull that blade out and it should click in right into our new head. Hello lights. There we go. Like this. Plug it in. I think these are gonna look really good. Before I go and tighten everything up, I'm gonna fire on the lights and see what happens. Ah, that was good. Right on. Oh, I forgot to put this on. A little booty. I'll put it on. Now it's installed. I think I can get it from behind. So I'll get everything tight and I'll put this on. Should have followed the instructions. I'm sure they said something about the little boat. Should have followed the instructions. There's a pain to get on in here. To me, this doesn't seem to want to go on and work with it. So I'll try it on the other side and see what happens. If it works, I'll take this one back out and flip it around. So let's get the other side installed, see what it looks like. Let's lit up. It totally goes on just really hard. Bit of a fight, but in it goes. At some point, I'm gonna have to take these assemblies all apart, probably uh, next winter. I'll go over them, there's some pieces missing, and I think it's just kinda hanging in there. For now, we'll see if everything works. Get the grill installed uh, quasi properly, just so I can get it out for certification. I'll need lights and things on it like that. So for now, it's gonna have to do. But let's see if the lights work. Unfortunately, the light's not working. So, looks like we either have maybe a fuse out or some wiring problems. Gonna dig into that, see what I find. As luck would have it, I just didn't plug the headlight in. You'll probably see that if you go back through the video. So everything's working, looks good. Uh, I'm liking the look, look at these lights. I'm gonna try the high beams right now, see if they're working, and then we'll start playing with the grill. So I'm pretty unfamiliar with this car. I have no idea how the lights work. I think I figured it out. Because right now we got low beams and I'm gonna go cycle through the high beams and whatnot. See how they look. I think I'm gonna take the hood off to make this happen. So there's more pieces missing than I expected on the grill. I've taken what I could from the clips of the driver's side and the screws and used them all to just put the passenger side together. I'm going to have to order a lot of parts to get the other one going and at the same time you have to fix the grill. Some of these covers are coming off and clean it up a bit. So in the meantime I'm going to order a whole bunch of parts and next video we'll install everything to make sure that it's uh, as up to snuff as it can possibly be.